show you how to do easy coffee dyed paper. Easy peasy. So hold on. I will. This one I coffee dyed and I also took some glimmer mist and sprayed on it. It gave it this cool iridescence. And here's just kind of the examples of the paper. This one actually picked up some of the their old uh, cookie sheets, some of the old cookie sheet stuff. So it looks cool. This one got pretty dark, really nice. Again, this one picked up a little bit of, off of the sheet, which gave it some great effect. Uh, this one's just real lightly coffee dyed. This one's kind of got some spots. This is one of my favorites. I just kind of coffee dyed it, and then I dripped some more darker coffee on it to get that effect. Um, this one is pretty saturated, and it picked up some of the stuff off the old pan. And again, the same thing with that one. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, first thing, set your oven to 350 and let it heat up. And then get you some old, I have a couple of cookie sheets, and then this is a cake pan. Take whatever paper you're going to use, put it in. I've already brewed up some coffee, uh, made it pretty strong, or my daughter did. And uh, what I do is just kind of sprinkle some spots on here, however you want it to look. Now, if you want more, you can add more, or, you know. And I just kind of start like that. And then once it's kind of covered, I stick it in the oven. And just kind of watch it till it's completely dry. I think I have one in here already. See, this one's in here. Uh, it's completely covered, and I'm going to use it again here in a minute and put some gas in there. Sorry about that noise. And then this one, I put two sheets in. And when you do that, it gives you this real cool effect on the paper of lines. If you wanted to like this, it would give you. I'll show you. Uh, kind of put it in there, a little sideways, and then give you a different kind of a design on the paper and that sizzling means it's hot so if there's kids watching this or somebody who is not supposed to be messing with the oven get your mama to help you or your daddy and then you just leave them in i just kind of come back and watch them uh, maybe five minutes something like that check it out here's the glimmer mist that i used on that one it's just a uh, tattered leather and i'm going to try a few other things to see what kind of an effect i get but let's see now here's this one here's this one completely cooked so when you move it you can see that it leaves this really cool effect here in the middle of the paper and then on the edge of this paper you get some cool effects so there are so many different things that you can do um, to make your papers look old and cool now i'm trying something i hadn't tried before it's paint <clears throat> paint dauber stuff and i'm not sure that's going to work but let's give it a shot and see what happens i'm going to still going to put some tea on it coffee <clears throat> and kind of see what kind of an effect I get. It might kill me. I don't know. We'll see. If there's no more videos after that, then you'll know that I died. Anxious. And here's another one that I had where I've put a few more spots on it to give it some different effect and it's still, it's still cooking. And then this one just have a few spots on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put some more on this side to give it a little bit more of some spottiness over here let's stick it back in see how it looks in a few minutes okay so don't do this with the paint dauber it looks terrible so this one goes to the trash can while I'm waiting I'm going to give you a few other tips now I've done some coffee dyeing and tea dyeing before and what I did was I actually put all I've also put it all in a pan all the tea or coffee and then I've dipped my papers in it and taken those out and laid them in the sun now they don't give you this same crispy I mean you can hear how that sounds crispy and I uh, I don't have any of those well you know what actually I do I, I'll, I'll stick some of those in here in a few minutes and show you the difference between these that are more crunchy uh, they have a real old feel to them and this is just copy paper i'll have to look and see what weight it is but it doesn't feel real real heavy um you know not like anything special uh here's the actual paper i have it in stacks over here but 
Um, you can do it so many different ways, but the oven gives it that crispiness where leaning in the sun does not, but it still gives a really nice effect. Now, the coffee is going to be much darker uh, and smell like coffee. Uh, the tea is going to be a little bit browner, uh, redder brown than a brown brown. So I'll do a couple of tea and throw those in here and show you those too. So. Let's get to it. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. Now this one I actually stacked papers, which you can do, and I showed you that a while ago where they give you different effects on the paper. Uh, so this one is stacked. These aren't quite done yet, but I wanted to show you some of the effect that you can get by doing it that way. So you can also see that I got a little coffee grounds on here. That adds some cool speckling to it uh, if you have that. You can actually put coffee grounds on here and it leaves really cool effects. Now, I haven't done that yet, and I will show you that here in a few minutes. Now, on this one, I just took a coffee cup and set it in tea and coffee here, like this, the bottom of it, and then just set it over here on it to give it that ring effect. So, I'm going to cook this with the ring, and then I'm going to do some different coffee dyeing to it. Okay, here is the one that I put three pages in, and as you can see, <clears throat> the front page turned out really cool. Um, the next page is also pretty cool. But if you look at the back of them, they're kind of boring. So what I do is I flip them over and I just add a little bit more uh, to them. Uh, just to give them a little randomness and a little bit of, you know, different kind of things. So I uh, just take some coffee and just kind of splash it on there. Just wherever I feel, wherever it goes. Stick it back in here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's fun. And then this one I really like, but I want to add a couple of spots back here just for fun. So there you go. So I'm going to stick that back in the oven and we'll pull Here's it Here's one that I added some more uh, coffee to it because I didn't like the way the back of it looked. So it's still a little bit wet. So I'm going to move that one and I'm going to see how it looks down in here. There's a couple more somethings in here just for more color. And I'm going to stick it back in and let me pull this one out. Hold on. Okay, I'll pull this one out. This is the one that I did the little tea from, or coffee. I keep saying tea. You can do tea or coffee, as I've said. But this is coffee from the bottom of the um, coffee cup. So I'm just going to add a little more color to it, stick it back in, and let have some fun with it. Now those stains will stay pretty good. I mean, they'll be much more dispersed. And in this, you can kind of see, so there's some coffee grains in there. That'll add some really cool effect to this particular one. Now this is one that I stuck back in from the, had one side good that I really liked and the other side was a little boring so I added a few more little spots to it just to give it some definition. <clears throat> now I want you to look at these. These two pages were in for different amounts of time with different amounts of coffee. This one's not picking up really good but it's very um, yellowed and brown, looks really really old. This one has picked up some stuff from the pan which is a really cool effect. But you can tell around the edges where it's gotten more cook time, it's turned a real cool crispy brown. So the longer you leave it in, the more effect you're going to get around the edges and the more effect uh, darker the pages will become also. So just be careful and don't burn it. <laughs> That's the important thing. And then see how brown that one is because it's been in there a second time. And then I left some around the edges, which kind of gives it a neat watery effect. I really like so. <coughs> okay, this is the one that I did the coffee uh, cup stain on, and then I added some more. It turned out really cool on that side and on that side. So I don't think I'm going to do any more on it, but I'm going to leave it in a little longer to get some crispiness on the edges. And I might run a little coffee around the very edges of it to see what kind of effect I get with that. So. I'm going to do that and then I will pop it back in for a minute. And okay, here's some more papers that that I pulled out just now. Um, and I did a whole bunch of different kind of drops and drippings on them. They turned out really cool. This might be my favorite, favorite set of papers here. <clears throat> kind of looks like a map. I like it. And then the back side's the same. So I did one with tea and I just stuck it in a minute ago. So we're going to pull that out. And all I did was just make some tea and splash a little bit on there and see what kind of an effect I could get. But um, here I'm just going to put a little coffee on this one and kind of go from there. And uh, I'm almost down to the last here. Probably got about 10 more I'm going to make, 15. And uh, 
So I'm down to the last of my coffee. I'm getting some grounds, which will make a really cool effects on the paper. So I'm gonna stick this one in and pull some more. Okay, out. this is the one that I put tea on. Uh, you can't really tell much difference when you hold it up to the coffee here. And I actually, I like the effect that it gave because it gave some darker stuff in there. Maybe this tea is just a little stronger than this coffee. But it's got a little bit different coloring to it. You can kind of see where this coffee is more brown, the tea's got a little bit of a reddishness to it. But I really like it, so I'm gonna keep that in my pile and do some more. Hi everyone, it's Rhonda. Just wanted to show you some of the papers that I'm making. I'm visiting my daughter this uh, week and we're making a Grimoire. grimoire, and she's here with me over there eating cheesecake. I won't show her, she'd be mad. Um, but we're dyeing papers, and she's doing some drawings on them. And I'm going to show y'all how we got these effects and exactly how we did it. So stay tuned for that. Okay, here are some of my finished ones that I did. Uh, this one is done with tea and coffee, and I just cooked these in the oven just like I showed. Turned out great, I think. Love this one, how they do like that. I don't know if you call that marbling or what that is, but very cool. I got several that turned out like that. That is a cat. Cat or, uh, no, that's Kane. He's got his tail in the picture. But those are just a few of the ones we did. So if y'all have made it this far, and you enjoy watching my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.